Welcome to the Fashion Fusion Show. I'm your host Amber J, back again with the hottest and the latest fashion statements of the week. As you all know, beauty is skin deep, but what is a face if you can't illuminate? That is why we have Laura Mercier Face Illuminator Powder. Now what it does ladies, it highlights your skin with pure light reflecting pigments for a color true multi-dimensional and luminous finish that complements all skin tones. A must have in your beauty products. Next we have the Tom Ford Solier Contouring Compact and what does that do? It gives your face a sleek palette. The Contouring Compact features three sensual summer shades of blush, highlighter and bronzer in a compact with an embossed Tom Ford logo. Once again, for summer, it's one of the best picks. And our third pick is a Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Now what it does for you, wonders. It's a gel cream infused with real roses and nourishing rose flower oil that delivers that intense 24-hour moisture for petal soft skin. Please try it ladies, I just absolutely love this product. And ladies, no need to throw away those lovely brushes that you have because I have just the right product for you. Dry Clean Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray For a dry shampoo for your brushes, this instant dry brush cleaner spray cleans quickly without rinsing and dries on the spot for immediate reuse of your brushes. So what can you do for those rich, sensual lips? Well, bite color has just the shade for you. Those pole lip colors, bite, has a low heat process which preserves a balanced blend of lip quenching nutrients, vitamins, and omega oils that are essential for achieving healthy looking lips. So let's try it ladies. A hydrating lip plumper and a gloss all in one. Next we have Dior Addict Ultra Gloss. It plumper which instantly produces a natural looking volumized effect all day, day after day. So let's go to Hollywood with our top 10 dress list of the week. Gal Gadot wore the red beautiful gown made by Prada. Where did she wear it? In Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice premiere. When was this? It was on the March 22nd, 2016 and she absolutely rocked the red sizzling look. And Beatrice Borromeo Casaraghi, she wore a red ruffle gown and who is the designer? Jim Battiesta Villai. Bear in Rose Paul in Monte Carlo. Elizabeth Olsen rocked the Emilio Pucci look in the movie Saw the Light premiere. Naomi Watts rocked a Valentino gown in the premiere of Demolition in New York City. Kendall Jenner is our always favorite. She wore Gavinci boots on the streets of New York City and looked absolutely cute. Andrea Pajek on the street of New York City in a blue crepe dress. Behadi Prinslow in a juicy couture black label ladies looking absolutely divine. And none other than our First Lady Michelle Obama in Narciso Rodriguez in Argentina, a short black dress with a yellow stripe. And Brie Larson looks so cute with a little boy in Rodart room premiere in Tokyo rocking her dress.
And last but not least, Mia Moridi in Alberta Ferrari in New Yorkers for New Orleans party in New York City, wearing a very gothic looking gown. And that was our top 10. But let's discuss the MTV Music Awards this week. So who wore it the best? Is it Kendall Jenner? Kendall Jenner is no stranger to complicated shoes, but what she wore to MTV Music Awards was on an entirely different level. Her laser boots, do they count as boots if they are comprised of nothing but thin leather strips? Pushed all boundaries of what we have come to expect of thigh high levels. Oh, and yeah, she didn't get them on herself. They required the assistance of two others. So let's rock the runway with none other than Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is back again on the runway with a silken dress and trench coats, blue and bold ensembles, and guess what ladies, puffy sleeves are back with red leather pants. Belmian rocked the house with ruffle pants, bold belts, soft pink jackets, pastel blue dress, flowy blouses, and net skirts. And one of my favorite designers is YSL, and YSL has picked their hottest designer of the year, Anthony Vaccarello. So what are the hottest looks of Anthony? It's, is it a leather top with a bold belt, shimmer dress with a black statement belt, all black with black belt can never go wrong. And I won't go away without discussing Bollywood, because what goes in the ramp in Bollywood is as sizzling as anything. Amy Jackson looked absolutely ravishing. She was the showstopper for Karan Malhotra's at Lakme Fashion Week for the Summer Resort Collection. Sunny Leon walked the ramp for Doubt Is Out at the Lakme Fashion Week Summer Collection once again. Karina Kapoor was a showstopper at the grand finale of the Lakme Fashion Week Summer Collection again. And Jaima Awards is back in Bollywood with Sunny Leon, Arjun Kapoor and all the latest celebrities. Sunny looked absolutely ravishing in a thigh-high cut silken red dress. Sonakshi wore an off-shoulder orange ensemble and looked absolutely ravishing. Uma Qureshi absolutely looked beautiful in those bold red lip color and a floor length black dress. Arjun Kapoor looked absolutely amazingly handsome with his lovely black tuxedo jacket style Sherwani. Aditi Rao in a strapless black top and a floor length orange skirt. Bhumi Patnikar in a nude gown all the way floor length and looked absolutely stunning. Baby doll singer Kanika Kapoor wore purple and looked absolutely beautiful. So what is our fitness tip of the day? You can lose 40% of your body fat if you take any body pump class. Body pump means body strengthening, lifting weight. So life is too short to wear boring clothes. I'm your host, Amber J. We'll be back again next week for more Fashion Fusion Statement. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay strong.